Welcome back to Misty Pumpkin. Today it's another Procreate tutorial. I will just put in the password because <laughs> why not? Uh, and today, guess what we're doing? We're doing this Mr. Snail Grandpa, Grandpa Snail, Mr. Snail. And this tutorial is the easiest tutorial out there, but it gets even better. There's also texture. So, in a short period of time, you'll be able to draw something exactly like this. So, let's begin. Okay, so I got the reference right over here. We'll be looking at that right here. Okay, so let's select our pen. In this, uh, sorry, in the, um, what am I saying? In the inking panel select dry ink and set we'll set our color so i've got a palette here you don't need the exact same colors but i created a palette just from a reference called the snail palette and basically in that palette i forgot to <laughs> add a black so <laughs> i'm just gonna do that okay so we select a black color for start with the dry ink brush and the inking section and basically, what we need to do is we need to draw a circle. Oh, sorry, increase the size by putting it to full and draw a circle. A sort of oval circle and then long press and that will make it its proper size. Next, select this mouse option, this is this cursor, and resize it to fit the screen. I'm going to grab it here and decrease the size and place it there. Okay, once we're done with that, we are going to grab the same brush and go on a little spiral, like that. Now, just like you know, you can do whatever pattern you want, be creative and change it up. You don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing, so be creative and put whatever pattern I'm doing a spiral. Alright, so once that's done, we're going to focus on the snail's body, and this is particularly tricky. So, we need to go with like a dipped sort of line. Honestly, be creative, but if you're following on with the exact line that I'm doing, then it's going to be a little tricky. But really, be creative with the shape of your snail. I'm going to go like that, or you can copy from here, or you can copy from here. But be creative with the shape of your snail. Once that's done, draw a little line like that over here to separate a few parts and then draw a little oh, circle here and then fill in the color after making a separate section and then you want to draw whatever expression that you would like to give to your snail I'm gonna give it a, a smug smile and then decrease the size to a lot to really tiny and then draw a line here and whatever shape you'd like to depict the eyebrows of your snake your snail so now we're going to fill in the colors so basically for this it's really really simple um you use the snail color palette but you can change it whatever you want mine is a little blue and we need to drag and drop so i'm going to select this color and drag and drop to oh sorry drag and drop to fill the colors so this one i want to fill this and then i'm going to go back to my palette and select this color to drag and drop and fill here. Go back to my palette and select this light, almost white, not white, color and fill it in here. Honestly, stick with your own color palette. But if you want to keep it, then you know you can keep with the same colors as me. So once that's done, once you're done filling all the colors, we're gonna start with the textures. So first of all, go to the layer, layer panel and rename your first layer, the one we just drew on, Rename it to Snail. And once that's done, also we only, honestly, renaming the snail is optional, but I like to do that because it's easier to understand. Next, make a new layer, layer 2, and rename it to, just, just rename it this thing to Texture or shading any one that you'd like i'm going to do texture slash shading and once it's done you select it and this one we're going to do a little different brush 
Now, these are not one of those brushes that you can like download from the web. This one you gotta create it, so I'm gonna teach you how to do that. So, I have created a section called My Amazing Brushes, whereas I have a few brushes. Um, they are not downloadable, like you can't get them from the web. But I will teach you how to make the large charcoal pencil, which we need for the thing. So, I'm gonna open up the drying area. This is how the large charcoal pencil looks. Just make sure to keep taking screenshots, pause this video, turn around the photo to sort of like set it properly. So this is how it's going to look. Um, also set the grain when you go to edit, import source library, and do set it to charcoal 6B. I right, just do that. And that is going to get you this wonderful texture. In the rendering, keep it in intense glaze. Do not change it. Intense glaze is what we want. The wax mix. These are all the percentages we're going to need. Uh, let me show you how it's going to look in different colors. Like a normal pencil or a large charcoal pencil. The pull to 75%. Color dynamics. You can change this up a little as much as you want. I like it normal. Everything to none. Everything should be to zero or to none in the color dynamics. The dynamics, the opacity, it should be minus 22%. This is what we want when we're using this for texture. I'm also going to clear this extremely messy drawing pad. Okay. And for the Apple Pencil, opacity to max, all bad good stuff. And the properties, the preview should be 30%. And the smudge to 75%. Please do not change the smudge. This is sort of important. Sort of, sort of, sort of. And about this brush, it's called a large charcoal pencil, but you can keep it whatever name you like. Alright, so now it's texture time. It's extremely fun. So now just long press and color pick whatever the color it is. I'm doing the top of this nail part now. Um so select that color and set, set it to classic, which is like I usually maneuver there. And set the color to a darker, way much darker shade of this color. Oh, and before we do that, before we start shading, make sure I forgot to tell you this. Just tap on this uh, texture shading layer and set it as a clipping mask. That way, if you don't know what a clipping mask means, clipping mask means that whatever we're going to do on this layer will stay within the dimensions, within the shape of the layer below it, which is the snail layer. Okay, so we make sure our color is a darker and make sure our size is full. And now what we need to do is just keep coloring. Make sure it doesn't go in this part. Just keep coloring here and make sure we do half of it. Next, select the smudge and make sure it's in the oil paint part. Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter what you use, but I'm going to be using oil paint, so follow along, which whatever. Set your size to about 33% and smudge it. I want you to smudge it so that it looks like it's initially part of it. So that's why it's called texture slash shading. It's not exactly texture, it's not exactly shading. Okay, once that's done, we color pick this color, the one we used, um, obviously any color, um, and go here and darken it. A lot, almost black. And then head over and so like decrease the size a little so it doesn't come on that. And then erase all the excess. Oh, that's a little too much. All the oh. <laughs> All the excess in the corners right here as you can see I've got a huge piece of excess here not exactly huge but like when we zoom it in you know it's huge <laughs> okay um so back to our brush um, and once we're done with this we keep going and do it about three-fourths for this one and then click smudge and we get about the same smile uh, same size and go around the whole thing 
and then zoom in eraser small size to erase the excess parts of our artwork once that's done, we're gonna go in with the face of snail for this we color pick this color or you can also go back to your palette and then obviously you know size this just go like this like this like this and then pretty much three-fourths of it all and then smudge it a lot this one is a lot smudged but it's a, it's a smaller size we want to decrease the size to about ending 16 percent see whatever it doesn't matter size doesn't really matter and smudge it all up okay now, once this is done, we're going to group these two layers. So to do that, we basically swipe the other layer. So, um, wait, let me show you what I mean by that. Select one of the layers, I'm on the texture slash shading, and then swipe to the right of another one, and then click the group option. And once, rename the group. So, snip. Okay, so I find it helpful that when you group two layers together, it is easier for me to, it, it basically makes, allows me to move the entire thing with being like much easier. So that way I can resize it onto the screen. Way easier. Because if we hadn't grouped it, then we'd have to resize it layer by layer and make sure it's precise. And that would take so much time. Now we can resize it in the uniform section of the part to fit the screen. Make sure you have resize this one and then deselect it now you can set a background for the reference image i have no background only white but you can change your background color let's do, say a red but you can see that the eye automatically fills so that's why i like to stay to white but then you can change the color to whatever you want and then just change the oh change the color over here but honestly, if I were to be honest, I would keep it black. Oh, sorry, white. <laughs> what am I saying? To white. Basically, to change the background color, you just click on the background layer and it will open this color palette and then you select that. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. This is how we made it. You can see the time lapse. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.